all right guys we got a quick video for you guys today we um from the testing video yesterday or it might have released this morning um we found a couple of reburns on our network so i want to show you guys how i determine reburns with the maps with the test results and then how i find which location it's at come determine which fiber in the tray it is and uh re-splice it and then go retest it to verify that we uh cleaned it up so yeah hope you guys enjoy this one won't be too too long of a video and uh should be dropping some good knowledge in it so yeah let's get into it We're all set up. We already got our R test on our machine. We're ready. I wrote out our counts here. The whole count splice that we spliced here was 577 to 631. Now we did find reburns on count 589 to 590. So we're gonna go look this up right quick. 577 to 631. We're right here. We had 577 to 631 right there. Okay. Now we know that we're looking for 589 and 590. So 577 to 588 is our first ribbon spliced. 589 to 590, the start of the second ribbon. So after we put these away correctly and in order, that would mean it'd be this one. Now we just verify, we can go ahead and check on our actual, our uh, ribbons here and make sure that that's the orange one. But I do know that that's for sure because I built this, but we'll still be double checking. So I'll jump back to the video from yesterday of where I'm showing the OTDR tests and where we found the reburn and it gave us a distance of uh, 589 meters okay in which if we go ahead and 606 and 816 so there's a reburn out there if you guys uh, can see right there because here's our connector right here and this is where our fiber cable starts and our traces head out. So about 548 meters away, which is right where one of our splice locations is. Well, one of the existing ones where we've just pushed the count through. Um, we have a dot eight one six splice loss. So we'll have to go ahead and mark that one down and then um, make sure we get back out there and re-splice it. When we place this cable that's running up the street to our work location we're at right now, the cable length was about 510 meters estimated that we placed. Now, when I did the did the shot and got the loss, the loss was showing up at about 589 meters. Well, we automatically know that estimated our first location out was about 500 and some meters. And I know by going through the prints that the next location up is too far to be this one. So... We determine that through the meter marks based off the prints that our issue is literally at this location 1B. So we've come here, you can also have a, someone sitting down at the FDH with the OTDR on real time. And you get in here and you can throw a bend on this fiber. And he can see and verify like, oh yeah, the loss is right there. I can see it dropping off as you're bending at the light when we're shooting the real time. Just to double verify that you're at the correct location. <coughs> but for me today, I know for a fact because I actually placed this cable, spliced this whole network, that our reburn is definitely here. Just through the the basic math I had to do with uh, where the loss was coming up in the trace and whatnot. So I'll throw you guys on the tripod. We'll dig this out, quickly reburn it. Then we're going to run back down to the FDH and uh, we'll reshoot those fibers and verify that we actually fixed it. All right. All right. So first things first, we're going to double check that this one is... The one we are looking for, 589. Do, do, do. Oh, these ones are going to be tough because we got some spare dead count here. Take these and shift them off to the side out of your way. Now we'll go ahead and verify here that this is actually our ribbon we're looking for. Do, do, do orange yes back here as you can see orange so oh these cases are tight these ones are tight 
in a situation like this, we're gonna wanna pop them right out. Just so we're not tangling anything. Have that sit like that. Do, do. These guys come dangling out. Bop, bop. Now we can simply just grab the one we are looking to use, which is right here. You verify again if you like. Orange, orange. You guys see the labeling on there? Yup, yeah. yup. Yeah. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is get some snips out like that. And one more. Okay, there we go. Simple as that. Now, if we want this to run back how it's supposed to, because all those ones have the magical flip in them. Do, do, do. Do, do. That's that guy. And it's switching to off and running up. Switching back in. I do believe so myself. Add it is. Okay, cool. So we got that. You can pop it open. Throw that in the heater. Get this one lined up right quick. So I'm sure as you guys are familiar, if you've been watching all my videos, that it's a pretty straightforward process. Doesn't matter if it's new, old, existing, the splicing tends to be all the same. You just gotta, it's either ribbon or single. That's about it. So we'll get this dialed in right quick. Make sure that we're still running how we wanna be. This one can be iffy. This one can be iffy. I don't like these tight trays here. strip let this thing re-splice splice looking clean for the cleave tap that on Sitting nice. Let her, let her dial in. Offsets are a little bit off. Let's see which one. Down at the bottom. Yeah, you can kind of see that to be honest. There we go. Let's see what we get. Well, huh? So that's uh it's pretty straightforward when it comes to actual work and doing a reburn. You literally just jump in the fosc, find the one you want to reburn, cut it, and re-splice it back together, and then go shoot your test results again, verify that that loss disappeared, and that, uh, there's a good one for you guys. What did I forget? Smart. Smart. See? Even the vets out here can forget it. We're missing our heat shrink. Great splice and all. Looks, looks phenomenal, but... No heat shrink on there, so we're cutting it again. So one sec, you guys, I'll find one. All right, 
we got our heat shrink here, so even though that was a beautiful looking splice, you get to do the fun part of uh, uh, coming in here and cutting this. And making sure we put that back on before we splice again. A little more out of there. Okay. rookie mistake of not putting the heat shrink on it's been a long time been a long time but hey that's okay pop this do another quick clean we'll just get right back to the splicing again maybe we'll get even better offsets this time you know look at it as a positive we forgot that heat shrink those are some pretty good offsets and uh, estimated losses, though, I must say. Ooh, a little chip on that one, huh? A little chip on that one. It's all right, we'll go again. Whenever that happens, too, I like to just make sure I give the pads a little clean. Just in case a little, a little bit of debris got on there. That one. All right. Well, this might be uh, day seven, I think. Day seven of the build series. You guys let me know down in the comments how you're liking it so far. If you want me to keep pumping videos off like this for you guys of the daily uploads with the work I'm doing all the time or or what let me go let me know in the comment section what you guys like get that going nice clean one See what we got. It's liking it. It's liking it. We're at a thousand and forty arcs on these electrodes. We're gonna have to change those real soon here. There we go. Now we just heat that bad. Heat that spice up and we're rolling. I'm sure these losses gotta be pretty good on this. Yep, the ones we were looking, so we'll have to flash the rest to verify that we didn't create any new losses. Because that's another thing, when you're splicing ribbon, you find one or two fibers bad within a ribbon, then you go and cut the whole ribbon, re-splice it. Well, you may have gotten better offsets on the ones that were bad and corrected those ones, but if you had worse offsets down below on some lower count fibers, you can honestly create another reburn on a different fiber so it's all about keeping your machine nice and clean keeping those offsets nice and down and performing good burns like regardless keeping all that perfect it's, it's, you're not gonna have a hundred percent pass rate all the time it's just not like not gonna happen it's just it's the way it goes sometimes these offsets and estimated losses can be perfect looking and it looks like you had everything's good but when you go to test it that's where it really counts you know Test machine doesn't lie. So yeah, nothing major though. When you find reburns, you just simply get out there and resplice them and retest them and make sure they're good within parameters for the customer. Trash all heated up there. Nice, we can let that cool down while we put our machine away and yeah. Um, I'll get this machine away. We'll toss this back right quick. Then we're gonna jump over to the clip of down at the FDH reshooting these. All right. All right, so we just set that back in there like that. Get our loose tube in first. Or in other words, our distribution. Is 
that sneaked away in there. Pop these over. snuck away yeah you can see there's one shorter one now obviously because we spliced it a few times now but that's okay so plenty of room on there and as long as it tests out tests out nicely that's all that matters and well the quality too obviously it's not ideal having a one shorter ribbon in there for the uh quality wise and like the way it looks in a photo but it's the way it goes when it comes to reburns they're gonna get a little bit shorter so this is all tucked in there we can get the tray lid back on like so and uh yeah we can get this one put back away simple as that all right we're gonna jump over to the testing now all right guys we're back at the cabinet here there's the horse again chilling with the birds regardless we're gonna jump into this we're down here we have the otr set up all right we're we're into 589 all right launch box thousand meters we can go ahead and hit start let's uh see if we got rid of our loss so i'll explain this trace to you guys there's our events all right so right from here to here is our launch box. Event one, all right? Thousand meters. We have it subtracted off of the trace. And then here is our first connector, okay? That's right here. Us plugging in here, connector to connector. All right, it's giving us a reading. Down here, connector lost off 5.9. Reflection is negative 67. So that's totally fine, okay? Yeah, the connector losses. There's our exact connector. Um, it's a little bit high for the customer's requirements, but um, it's existing cabinets, so it, it'll be allowable as long as it's cleaned and tested multiple times, reshot, can't get no change in loss, then it's either needs to be replaced or uh, they're just gonna have to accept it, one or the other. Um, moving forward though, this is our whole trace from here to the end here okay so we had a loss right about in here dot nine it was so it was pretty noticeable so now if we come through we can see that from connector to the end we have no losses within there and that the whole run is 1.971 kilometers so 1971 meters there run zero losses within that run there's about i'd say around 10 10 12 fos about five existing and uh the rest are all new so anyways that's how you go ahead and uh yeah i guess we'll, we'll check the next one one sec here so there was a small reburn on this one as well but let's see if it changed as well it was all within the same ribbon so when we cut that ribbon and re-splice it you can see a little bit of a, a loss in here let's see if it uh if it even tells us Two, two, five, that's our connector. No, it's not picking up that small, small loss in there. So we definitely changed the loss. There's still a very little one there, but it's within parameter and it's totally acceptable. So yeah, that's how you guys, uh, that's how you find a reburn on a network and you go and fix it and come back and redo it. But yeah, that'll do it for this video, guys. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it. You can smash that subscribe button, that'd be great. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.